code should and can be self-documenting. Yes. Yeah, so which, which, which is a huge thing. Never, right? never comment a line of code. And one of the things I know I, I push to the team a lot too is the, again, that idea of cognitive load. So if you start using your if conditions and you start adding two, three, four variables in there, now you have to think about all the different permutations of like, what does that mean? Yeah. Um, by converting that either to a method or putting it into a variable before you do that if condition into something that's a little bit more descriptive, then you don't need to think twice about it. I literally Be remember you like trying to, I don't say you were arguing, but you were trying to explain to a developer why they should take these five conditions and just put them into two variables. And you're like, cause it's easier to read. Like I have to stop and take 20 seconds to understand what this expression even means. Mm -hmm. Or I can take two seconds if you just make two variables right. that, are, that are named well. Yeah, and they—I I can't remember how that story ended. I'm—I'm I'm pretty sure they reluctantly did it, but probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, and and I know this is uh, you know hot take documentation. What's worth documenting? Dun dun dun. <laughs> His wife does documentation for a living, so I feel like you have a biased uh, perspective on this. But I—I I, I well, do. When, 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 sorry, I should say when it comes to code. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Like, like it's application and stuff like sure, like user guides, things like that, not to put my wife down on what she's doing, but like there, there's high value in that for, you know, everyday people understanding it and following that. But when it comes to the system itself, right, like what's worth documenting? Yeah. Do you, like are comments worth like, cause I've seen developers who they write novels in their comments Yeah. and it kind of irritates me. And then I see other developers who don't write a single comment. And I've yeah, and I've seen the the Monty Python holy hand grenade poem or whatever it is in the code, and it's just like this is so. What makes helps a, no one? What makes a good comment? Um, code should and can be self documenting. Yes, yeah, so which, which is a, which is a huge thing. Never right? never comment a line of code. Well, that's what you're saying. So so what I'm saying is all of that stuff should be self explanatory if you can do it. Yeah. However. If something has to be done out of the norm, the thing that the thing that will always persist in a comment is the why. Why did you have to do this? Why should you use this? Why does this exist? What is what is your purpose function? Yes, <laughs> not 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 how do I do this or how, how is it doing this? Because you can you can derive the how just from I, reading. I can the code. read code. Yeah. yeah, like I don't need to. Yeah, I can figure that out. Yeah, but why does this function exist? I mean, and if I'm thinking of like I'm because I'm a C sharp developer. If I'm like using the IntelliSense in Microsoft and I start doing dot notation, I get that little IntelliSense that explains here's the name of the function, here's its purpose. Right. It doesn't tell me how it achieves how it does what it does, but it just gives me why 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 might I want to use this function when I'm implementing it? Yeah. So writing your, I always write comments from the perspective of the person implementing the function. Yeah. Not from the person looking at the function, trying to figure out. Is it broken? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's, that's where you should have unit tests or things like that to kind of help validate your ideas or things like that. Yeah. So. The, the one area that this like kind of, I don't want to say fails at, but seems kind of redundant is like when you're generating your API documentation for Swagger in C Sharp and you just have to write like I know what I know what the put is doing on this object. Do you? Yeah, I do. It's it's yeah, it's save it's saving whatever data or a get by ID. Like I, I don't need Is it called well so so again, this is this is all back to is it called get by ID? <laughs> well the route the route sort of implies it. But yeah, co commenting in those instances seems more of a chore than a benefit. Well, I think there's there's certain pieces of information. It's really weird, right? Because it and this is where I struggle a little bit. But like when you do the comments, the route should define what you're doing. And to me, like I guess the question for you is, what does a good route look like? Yeah, it's um, slash the data you're you want to query or save, and it should always be plural. Because if you'd call it without anything after it, I would expect a collection of data to come back. The first optional parameter would be an ID. Mm -hmm. And if I provide an ID, I would get one record back. 
And then if there were any other um, specific operations I could perform on this, any other post operations, um, or even um, subsequential... What's the right word I'm looking for? Subsequent. (laughs) Subsequent... like child elements that would that would follow the 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 ID. So like people slash two would get me the person with ID with two. ID two slash addresses would get me that person's addresses. Um, and if it was a if it was a put or a post on addresses, I would expect to write addresses to that person to that person. And that's like to me that just that's like basic rest, you know, yeah standards. So I don't need I don't need a document that says the people slash ID that's going to return a person. I would expect that. Yeah, the summary is kind of goofy, yeah. right? But where the documentation is beneficial is okay. Well, what does your person look like? And with Swagger, you kind of have to call out every single property, what it is. It it's a bit of a chore, but when you're consuming the API documentation, it's kind of nice to see like here's all the properties that I don't know what Swagger that you've written recently, but what? Um. So uh, we just give it the class definition. Yeah, don't you have to like mm-hmm. add the data annotations to the model for it to like? No, just they, they, they got rid of that requirement. The, the, I, this dates me apparently. <laughs> I, I remember having to like on the model do like the triple slash on all the properties and and. Oh, give, I mean, you should still like. Yeah, yeah, describe what they are. Yeah, you have to you have to do that. Like Swagger, it'll generate something, but at, when you add comments to the classes. It, Swagger uses that instead. Yeah. You know, and it definitely does. And one of the things I think that also, and, and this isn't necessarily part of the summary tag, but also makes good for web API documentation at least, is what are all the possible response codes? Aside did, from 500. Does that five, go in the summary? The the response? No. It, it, it's part. So in, in C Sharp, it's part of the data annotation to say it's going to return uh, this status code and like this is the object that it'll return. Yeah. So. So yeah, I, I kind of I know I started this by saying I think commenting for APIs is pointless. It it, it kind of isn't. Like there's just a couple instances where it just feels yeah. Like like the describing what like um what is first name? It's the first name of the person. Well, duh. Like I don't need you to tell me that. Yeah. Um, but in, uh, it's also like the the su- the summary portion of like describing the method. And again, this is back to the why I think is. Again, telling somebody like, oh, yeah, it's going to get this, the person by ID. That doesn't help you, right? But if you're going to say, why would I use it, right? Um, you know, this call is used to retrieve a person. Okay. Like, yeah, it's very yeah. redundant on what you're seeing it, but that purpose is never going to change. Yeah. Even if you change the implementation, you change the signature, it should always, it should hold true. Um, because you know, that's one of the things, like you said, that what, what's good having heavy documentation or no documentation. And if you look at, and I think it's either clean code or somebody else, uh, maybe it's art of unit testing. I think it's clean code. Um, what's better between the two having a lot of comments or no comments. It's always no comments because you can go into the code with no assumption as to what it's doing. Where if it has comments and somebody hasn't updated it about what it's doing, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. <laughs> but again, that, again, that's where the why it should stand the test of time. Yeah. 